You typically think of a team who's given no chance, who for one magical night is better for four quarters, for two halves, for three periods, and there are plenty of examples. But in my life, in my life, nothing has been more stunning, nothing, than Mike Tyson losing to Buster Douglas. For the benefit of time and Mike Tyson's own explanation of where he kind of was mentally at the time, it makes more sense, but we didn't feel it then. All we knew was that Iron Mike lost in Tokyo to someone named Buster Douglas. It wasn't without controversy, though. Tom Meeks on the fight and the fallout. Hello again and welcome back to ESPN Sports Center along with Tom Meese. I'm Bill Patrick. We continue to follow the major sports story of the weekend. That, of course, Buster Douglas' amazing knockout of Mike Tyson last night in Tokyo. And Buster proved we could do it inside the ring, Tom, and now he's getting a real education outside. Not only that, he may be getting the shaft outside the yeah. ring. Winner and new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas, right? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, remember, we're talking about the wonderful world of boxing here. The sweet science, as it is called, had never seen a bigger upset in the heavyweight division than last night's demolition of Mike Tyson by the off-the-board underdog, Buster Douglas. But leave it to the powers that run this sport to leave the new champ in limbo just when he should be enjoying the fruits of his labors. Eric Clemens reports from Tokyo. It was to be a typical Tyson demolition, but it turned into a nightmare here at the Tokyo Dome. James Buster Douglas used his 12-inch reach advantage and one-two combinations to land more hard punches against Iron Mike than anyone had in 37 previous bouts. But did the fight last too long? Tyson's will appeared to have saved him at 2.56 of round eight when two uppercuts put Douglas on the canvas. Referee Octavio Mehran Sanchez ignored the official timekeeper who was three seconds ahead of him on the count. Douglas got to his feet appearing unhurt by the referee's count of nine. But Tyson's corner protested following the loss, saying that the official count on the knockdown was 12 to 13 seconds. The WBA and WBC agreed with holding recognition of a champion until further review by committee. We reviewed all the facts, and we had to have a special meeting with our executive committee people, also the championship committee members, in order to make a final decision that we have to discuss also with the people of the WBC in order to make a jointly decision. Tyson, meanwhile, insisted he hadn't lost as a result of taking Douglas too lightly. He feels that anything short of a chance to regain the titles would be improper. Yeah, but I still want to fight him again. You know what I mean? I never, you guys know, know me for years. I never cried a bitch about anything. Forgive my friend. You know what I mean? I, I, um, I, I walk like I talk it. You know what I mean? I'm just acting for a fair chance. I mean, I don't mind. I, mean, I lost before. Nothing's wrong with losing. I can handle a loss. I want to lose fairly. Just hours after what many considered a great moment for boxing, with the heavyweight championship changing hands and the biggest upset in the division's history, has now become yet another black eye for the sport. Three young men want to be treated fairly and equally. But now it appears at least one of them will be left out in the cold. Reporting from Tokyo, Eric Clemens, ESPN. I had forgotten that part of the story almost entirely, to be real honest. A little bit of history on what you just heard there. Given the location of the fight and the odds, there was some internal discussion here about whether ESPN would even cover the fight with a reporter. The last minute, Eric Clemens was set and documented one of the most historic upsets in history and then the ensuing controversy about when that count started. We will be covering this fight. Oh, yeah. Wilder Fury, live on pay-per-view, Saturday, February 22nd, from Las Vegas. Check it out on ESPN Plus.